All right, hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to go through the alligator skull. Uh, so I want to take you through the different bones of the skull and the holes uh, that we'll want you to know for your exam. All right, so we'll take you through the skull roof first. Now, you've seen a mammal skull by now. You've seen the sutures on those, um, and you have access to an alligator skull, but the sutures might be kind of hard to see. So I picked this one because the sutures are very clear, and we should be able to see it on camera. Um, now if we start out, we'll start at the anterior end of the alligator skull. So this is the premaxilla. You can see the suture here. So that's the premaxilla again. This one, suture goes like this, back here, and it's actually broken off here, um, so you can see inside, but we won't go into too much detail in there. But this is the maxilla. Then, if you go right here, this long bone along the midline is the nasal. Then moving back, moving uh, posteriorly, on this side we have the lacrimal. Uh, you can see it on this side as well. There's a very faint suture in there. That's the lacrimal. And then next to that, and this is where it gets kind of different from your mammal skulls, this is the prefrontal, which tells you it, become, it comes before the frontal. Um, and if we keep moving back, this right here is the frontal, it's fused. Um, so there's not a pair of frontals, it's completely fused. Uh, yep, and it lies in between the orbits on either side where the eyes go. Uh, and I, I forgot to mention earlier, the external nares right here. Okay, and if we move back toward the orbits and move back from the frontal, uh, you have another um, sort of non-mammal unique bone called the post-orbital. So there are sutures for that here and here. So it's just this little strut of bone that comes down right there. Then we move toward the midline. This is the parietal. And again, it is fused like the frontals are in, the, in crocodilians. So that's this bone right here. And then moving laterally, we've got the squamosal right here. So the suture for that is here and here with the parietal and the post-orbital. Okay, now we're gonna move over to this side. Uh, one bone that we kind of missed uh, on this side would have been the jugal. So that is right here. Forms a large portion of the cheek, so to speak, of the uh, alligator. It comes uh, right below the orbit. Um, and then we're gonna get to these holes in a second. But then we've got the quadratajugal right there. Lies between the jugal and the, you guessed it, the quadrate. So that is this bone right here, and you might be able to see it a little better from this angle. So that's the quadrate. It has kind of a square shape, and it articulates with the lower jaw um, via uh, this condyle. Okay, and then we've got um, a couple more holes to point out. So this is, alligators are reptiles, they're diapsids. Um, so they've got this upper or supratemporal fenestra. And they also have the lateral or infratemporal fenestra. So those two holes in the side of its head. I guess top and side. Um, and we'll also point out the foramen magnum as long as we're back here. All right, so we're moving on to the palate of the alligator. Um, so if we start from the anterior end like we did with the skull roof, we've got the premaxilla right here, bears some teeth. The maxilla also bears the last of the, of the teeth in the alligator. Um, and then we move toward the center. Uh, so uh, posteriorly, this is the palatine or palatine. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I'm actually not sure which is right, uh, but that's okay. We, I'll go with palatine for the sake of simplicity. Um, so we got the palatine right there. And then this is the pterygoid, um, which you have seen a pterygoid process uh, in a cat or a pterygoid in the fox. Um, alligators have a full-fledged pterygoid, um, just like the fox, uh, but it's much larger than it is in mammals. Um, and then to the outside of that, to the lateral side of the pterygoid, we have the ectopterygoid, a very convenient name in my opinion. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the palate of the alligator and the iguana. So the iguana, um, is a lizard, the alligator is a crocodilian, it's a type of archosaur. Um, they have a fairly different evolutionary history, but they're both reptiles, so they have some similarities, but we're gonna point out the differences in the palate especially. 
Um, so if you notice, the alligator has a hard palate, so there's a big shelf of bone that covers the palate. And uh, one thing I want to point out um, is that behind this bone is actually the nasal passage. So this, these are the internal nares that empty out into the back of the alligator's mouth. It's slightly different on this iguana skull. Um, so the internal nares of the iguana are actually right here. So we don't have the premaxilla, maxilla, and palatines forming a shelf of bone that cover those nasal passages in the iguana. Um, so that is one uh, big difference we want to point out with crocodilians.